Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 2, and... Oh, I hate this fight. Uh, yeah, because it's so slow. The, the, the desert fights are slow. So we're just gonna let these guys come to us. In rather obnoxious fashion. And by that I mean it's gonna take us a little bit for this to be a thing, so, yeah. And... I put everyone in a row so that I didn't get ganged up on by the same, like, group. Like, I didn't have two or three bad guys coming up and attacking Bowie at once. Because that's the last thing you want. Um, let's just leave... Well, let's... All I've got is a healing drop. Oh, Slade. Alright, let's get a... We'll get a hit in with, with Luke, that's fine. Because Luke's actually doing damage now, because he's got the power ring. He's doing alright. He's got his stuff. Alright, so now we're just going to start killing things. Yaha was the last to level, so I don't care if he gets the kill first. That's fine. Gargoyle, dead. Listen to me. He's dead. Alright, uh, what does Bowie have? Bowie's got nothing, so Bowie's just going to kind of stay where he is, because otherwise Bowie's going to take up truck to the face. Alright, let's, let's, we'll heal Bowie, that's fine. I really need to stop buying medical herbs and start switching to healing seeds. That's what I need to do, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy, and I'm a cheap bastard, and I don't want to spend money, even though I've got more, I, I have so much more money now than any other time I've actually played the game because I never, I've never sold the mithril before. I just like, oh yeah, I'll just, you know, hold on to them and take up valuable inventory space. And as such, the only money I had is what I had left from defeating enemies. So... Alright, let's attack... the gargoyle. That actually worked out pretty well. We can... Uh, I need to heal Yaha, but I can't get to Yaha. Oh, so close. He was so close, wasn't he? Let's heal Yaha. No, there we go. The dwarf turtle. The dwarf. There you go. You great stupid pastry. Um... Yeah, let's attack the golem. Because now it's going to be all about... Well, all about killing things, apparently, because Slade... Slade's bloodlust just cannot be quenched. <laughs> like, when, when phrased that way, it's like, Slade's bloodlust. Uh, oh, that's dark. I love it. It's so, so dark. It's so funny. Alright, Jerhalt is running into some problems. I don't really want to do this, but I'm gonna. Because again, I make poor life choices. <laughs> and a critical hit on the Soul Sower. That's fun. And I immediately regret this decision, because Kazen is not dead, but he's wishing he was. Alright, let's... Let's kill the... I, I have a feeling if I kill the Soul Sower... Oh, yeah, well, I'm not I'm not killing the Soul Sower. Well, damn. Uh, I've got no healing items on Bowie, so we're going to put Bowie here to try to attract someone else's attention. Well, that's fine. Chester, Chester can attract that attention all at once. That's fine. Uh, where's Slate? He had a, a high-end healing item, didn't he? So does Yaha. Well, Yaha has crap healing items. Let's let's take out the arrow launcher, shall we? And Yaha levels up to 18, so he's caught up. That's and of course healing the soul sower. I really need to get Kazen the hell out of there. I'm I just it's oh you've got a healing item, don't you? You do. It's not gonna... It's, that's not gonna help, really, because if the Soul Sower gets another attack before I can get Kazen out of there, 
then Kazen's dead. And I don't think I can get Kazen out of there. And Luke's gonna take a ridiculous amount of damage, because he's a flying enemy. Or he's a flying unit. Oh, thank you, I can heal. Okay. We're gonna heal Kazen, and that'll be... That's fantastic. I could have used Blast, but it's not gonna do really a damn thing. So, we need to get K We still need to get Kazen out of there. Uh, there's really not anything I can do at the moment. Other than keep... Slade out there. Is there any other bad guys? Or is that... That's, that's just the Soul Sower over there, so that's fine. We're gonna move over there, and... Critical hit of 16 for Luke. Luke levels up to 18. Holy crap. And I need to move forward. Uh, let's just go ahead and kill it with Yaha. I just want it dead. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want everyone dead. Alright. Alright, Kazan's not going to die, but he's going to be hurting. Let's get Kazan the hell out of there, shall we? Um... Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Because I don't want him anywhere near that Salso. Alright, let's... Who's the bigger threat? You, you kinda are. At the moment. And Chester levels up to 18. Everyone's hitting 18 at this point, except for the people who actually need it. And of course, that is how this game is being played out. I really should have pieced that together, shouldn't I? Uh, let's just attack. We'll have Bowie tank the Soul Sower. We can do that. Yeah, we we can do that. That's that's kind of okay. Uh, yeah, we 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 just need to kill the Soul Soul Sower. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna take. I know we're gonna take a hit from. Uh, the mage, but hey, the soul sower's dead. Oh, son of a bitch, really? You have got to be kidding me. The one person who really, like, it was just too perfect of a chance. That's why the, the game's like, yeah, no, no, screw you. We're not letting nice things happen to you. Like letting your centaur archer who can't get anywhere in this fight XP. No, no, what do you, what do you think this is? This is charity? Alright, uh, I don't really need to do anything with those guys. I do need to heal Luke. He's got nothing. So, uh, it's, this is stupid. I know this is stupid, but I need that Soul Sower to die. And Jerhalt's better than nothing because he's still 17, so that's not terrible. Alright, we can move Kazen down now, and speaking of Soul Sowers that are just terrible... Oh, I forgot they could stun! Which basically means Chester is now useless. I can't do anything with Chester, meaning Chester is now a waste of space. And that, okay, that's... That's fine, I guess. Alright, let's do so oh, we're just gonna do we're we're doing damage. Bowie's 19. That is ridiculous. Um Alright, I can kill the mage. That'll work. We'll kill the mage. And that doesn't level her up, but that's okay. I'm okay with this. He's gonna heal himself. Probably should have killed him instead, but the mage... I could see the mage doing, like, ridiculous amounts of damage. And we're gonna heal Chester. Not that it'll really accomplish anything, because he's... He's... I love... He's... He stops being stunned to be healed. Just, you know, just long enough. Alright, uh, Kiwi, you're just sitting there. 
you're just sitting there. You're one spot away from being useful. Alright, that's not going to do much, because it's not going to do much to the Soul Sower. It's not going to do much to the Monk, but it's, it's still damage across multiple, multiple planes, so... Alright, and... yeah, we are... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna move Bowie out. And your halt's gonna take a major hit to the face. And your halt counterattacks! Fantastic, well done, your halt. Alright, who's what level? Your halt's still 17, May's still 17, Kazen's still 17. So... What's... Peter's almost 19. Uh, I don't think this will kill him, but this will level him up to 19. And maybe I... well, no, because there's no way I could get May to do 5 points of damage. Uh, I can heal Luke. Luke kinda needs it. So let's do that. May and Halt really are just having the hardest time because of their movement ratings. But I, I'm keeping them, you know, uh, up to date because they they just are so useful. And hey, she actually did respectable damage. I was not expecting that. So now I can have Jerhalt get the kill on the monk. And that'll end the fight. That's that's wonderful. Uh, Chester's no longer stunned. Kiwi is taking up space. Uh, let's do this. This will level him up, and it won't kill the monk, but it should keep... Yeah, it'll it'll level him up, and it... Oh, and we learned Kazan's fourth and final spell, Diesel. It's actually nowhere near as cool as it sounds. It has a very low proc rate, but it is an insta-kill spell if it connects. And you are a just a bastard. <laughs> Alright. I'll get another hit in with Kazen. I'm gonna need to get another hit in with Kazen because he's at full HP at the moment, and... Um... We'll do, we'll do Blast and we'll do Blaze 1, and that won't be enough to kill him, but that'll hopefully weaken him enough to where I can actually kill him with Jerhalt. Uh, I can do Blaze 2. Yeah, I'll do Blaze 2. I'll just burn out all of Kazen's MP. Because I'm pretty sure Jerhalt can do 15 points of damage with a punch. At least that is what I'm hoping. If Jerhalt can connect. Let's move him there. Okay, finally. Done. And Jerhalt levels up with that. So I'm, I'm managing to keep people, you know somewhat in sync rather than Backstreet Boys because, let's face it alright, so oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do this I really don't want to this is the ancient shrine of the caravan guarded by a giant robot named Taros don't you know? no, we have no idea who that is that's Taros, the guardian of the ancient shrine Stop right there, or I'll attack you. What shall we do? The caravan is there behind him. We must have it. Time's up. Now we battle. Now we kung fu fight! Alright, so... Enemies in this fight. Pretty much the same fare that we've been dealing with. Not really anything new. Except for Tauros. So, everything else around us is pretty much the same. Except for this really tall, robotic sumbitch here. Tauros. HP of 49, attack of 43, defense of 32, agility of 23, movement of 0. He cannot move. He is just a completely stoic enemy. He cannot move. Uh, he can use his Tauros sword to use lightning, which is a has a very large AoE radius. So uh, he can attack a, a, a very 
wide path around him, which is why he doesn't move, because otherwise he'd just be broken. Uh, another thing that actually makes him broken is you have to have the Achilles Sword to damage him. Bowie is the only one who can kill him. Get it? Achilles Sword, giant robot, once you see him in action, you know, you'll, all you see is his legs, Achilles heel, get it? It's a pun. I'm not making this up. It's, and I'm, I'm not making the pun. Someone, someone else made this pun. Someone else made this pun for me. That, that is where we are at <laughs> in this game. Other people making puns in my place. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, so, as always, we've got this... Like, we don't need to worry about positioning until we get up close to the, uh... The mage with the AoE. Till then, everyone else is just gonna be kind of fair game coming at us as we get into range of their attacks. So, I'm just, I'm moving everyone up pretty much the same so that we can get everyone there, and everyone's just ganging up on Chester. That's, I guess that's fine. Beat up on Chester. I, I do not care right now. He, oh, there's another mage there, so I do kind of need to be careful for that. So once we take out this first little attack group, we should be fine to, to just deal with that mage by moving as, you know, appropriately as, as necessary, so. And Kiwi, Kiwi will die a completely, uh, ridiculous death. Um, Diesel sadly only targets one thing. And again, it has such a really low proc rate that it's, it's really not worth using. It, it does not work on, uh, leaders. So, like, you can't use, like, I can't use it on Tauros to you know, make the fight instantly over. Like, there's no chance of it actually procking on Taros. Or any other leader, for that matter. There... Well, no, I take it back. There might be a leader or two that it would work on, but, uh... The, it's so few and far between. I want to say it has maybe a 20% proc rate? I'd have to look it up to, to be 100% sure on it as to what it's its actual proc rate is, but it's not... It's not worth it, is what it is. So, uh, I, I will never really be using it. Like, I might use it to show it off once, but I'm I'm fully expecting that it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, so we got that soul sower over there. I'm gonna start spreading my people out, because we're gonna have a couple of gargoyles descending upon us rather quickly. So, yeah. Not bad. I do need to heal Chester, too. That's the one thing I need to remember to do, because otherwise I will forget. And hey! I moved him right in position of Bowie! Thank you for showing me my glaring tactical weakness of where I positioned my force. That's... That's... Yeah. I'm I'm just super excited about that. Because now we're going to have that other one come over. He's going to inch over, and then he's just going to make a beeline towards us. That's how the enemy AI tends to work. They're going to they're gonna inch forward, inch forward, until they are in range for an attack, and then they just book it toward whoever they now have a range for. They just, they go all out. So... And I'm just going to do a little bit of damage. I'm going to do a little bit of punching. A little bit of punching and a little bit of missing with my punches. Because I'm getting so tired of proc rates. What's Jaha's to next level? Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll level up for sure if I get a kill. Jerhal's actually almost 19, so he's actually made up for it. May is not making up for it. May is still kind of behind. So, we're gonna do some damage. Ooh, that'd be perfect if I could get May over there right now to get a hit in. It's not gonna happen. But it would make me happy. Alright. Well, it's not like he can, he can heal, so I'm not terribly worried. And 
I could heal Bowie, which I guess I'll go ahead and do. And I guess this is where I'll end this episode, because, yeah, I've got... i got a lot of stuff that's getting ready to happen. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next installment, where uh, we defeat the Shrine Guardian Tauros. So uh, till then, later everyone!